suspended public protector advocate Bosesiwe Mkwebane has been slapped with another court order. Mkwebane wanted the Western Cape High Court to review her recusal application against the Section 194 inquiry chairperson at Kobutile Tianji and the Democratic Alliance MP Kevin Melhalem. Well, Mkwebane is accusing them of bias, but the Office of the Public Protector has declined to fund the litigation. This means she will have to pay all the legal costs. Well, Newsroom, Newsroom Africa's Atim Tongana uh, joining us now live ahead of the committee's uh, sitting since its adjournment last week. Ati, good morning to you. Uh, let's talk about this particular sitting. And in particular, I saw the chairperson who leads it. They must have finished quite late yesterday at Kubutile Janji. Where do matters stand? Well, the chairperson of the Section 194 Committee, Kubutile Tianki, was assisting the Portfolio Committee on Justice and Correctional Services yesterday for the past two days, looking into the escape of a convicted rapist and murderer, Tabo Bester. Now, he is going to return today to the Section 194 Committee in that very same venue, where we're expecting the committee to resume its either, it's going to resume, uh, the meeting among the committee members who were actually hearing from the evidence leaders around the CR17 investigation by the Office of the Public Protector, which the suspended public protector argues that why is the chairperson allowing the evidence leaders to be part of the committee meeting because she's not allowed uh, at the stage or at least when they meet as members of the committee, she's not allowed to be part of uh, the proceedings. At some stage, the chairperson muted her out of the meeting. And so the argument that the public protector had been bringing is that uh, if it is a committee meeting, why allow the evidence leaders to particularly deal with some of the evidence that she testified to as uh, the public protector? Now, you will recall, uh, Goli, that they have gotten to the stage of meeting just as committee members at the back of uh, the, the public protector, well, the acting public protector advocate, Kolega Galega, sending correspondence to the suspended public protector informing her that they've run out of funds to foot the bill for her legal team. And we saw advocate Dalimbofu and his team packing their bags and leaving the inquiry on the grounds that there's no more money in the office of the public protector to fund their stay in the proceedings. And so the public protector is saying that any meeting of the Section 194 committee as a hearing is illegal based on the fact that she doesn't have legal representation now, you would recall that the Constitutional Court granted her the permission to be able to have legal representation of her choice uh, before the committee. But now that Advocate Dalim Bofu and the team have left because of the funding issue, we don't know how they will proceed uh, with the committee or how they'll proceed with the hearings. Ati, I remember a conversation on this issue of uh, the legal funding of the public protector, I think you had a conversation with the committee chair, uh, Mr. Janji, and he seemed to cheekily suggest at one point that legal aid might be the avenue for her. Where does that stand? His argument was that, well, it's, sta it's a state uh, institution, legal aid, and so as a head of a Chapter 9 institution, she can actually use it. But the argument then from the criticism that the chairperson received after making that statement is that how can then a head of a Chapter 9 institution rely on merely legal aid for uh, an unprecedented sitting uh, as the Section 194 Committee, which has actually never been done in South Africa, and given the magnitude of the cases that they're dealing with, because on the grounds of the charges that the public protector faces before Parliament are uh, judgments that come from very high courts in the land. And so uh, the argument that has been brought by those watching these deliberations closely is 
that the public protector cannot merely just be presented by legal aid services. So it's going to be interesting how they move forward from today, Goli, at the back of, of course, the full bench dismissing her application for the recusal of the chairperson and at the DA's Kevin Mileham uh, in the proceedings. And she also wanted the proceedings uh, to be halted based on several issues that she had placed before the full bench. At all of at the argument senior counsel at the Western Cape High Court, the full bench still decided to dismiss her application with costs. Atim Tongana, thank you very much for that comprehensive update uh, live for us there in Cape Town. Well